officials tell us that these machines are going to be a lot better. And they tell us that a lot of these machines are going to be faster. We're going to get the results in a lot of these races tonight a lot quicker. Now, they said that they've tested them out. They've trained employees. And for the most part, it's been smooth today. There were reportedly some issues this morning. Administrator of Elections Linda Phillips said most of it had to do with connecting the poll pads, which are the things that print off the ballot application the voter signs. Now, when those wouldn't print, she said they just moved to plan B and put it on a piece of paper and the voter signed that. Now, it didn't affect the actual voting. She said it wasn't the machine's faults either. Take a listen. Almost all of that was operator error. You had to do the setup steps in exactly the right order. And if you skip step two, it wasn't going to work. But we got all of that ironed out by about 8 o'clock. Yeah, and again, after that, she said it's been fairly smooth today. Now, keep in mind, if you are headed to the polls, you are either going to choose whether you want to use a paper ballot or a machine marking device. She said that majority of today, people have been using those machine marking devices. But again, the polls closing in about three hours, and we've seen a pretty big turnout here. Reporting live, Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3.